Hello and welcome to vlog week 18. Happy Halloween. Hello. I'm literally vlogging for two seconds so I can show you in costume. Look at the little vampire. He's got a little cape. We'll try and get some more video of him. But now Paul is going to Matt's house. I'm going to meet him there so we can show him the Halloween costume. So, and the rain is awful. I'm going to get my nails on today. So, so vlogging quickly to say hello. Paul is just getting James ready. Sure. Thank you. Right, bye. So that is me home. I got my nails done. It's just black. And then this one was called Midnight Sky. So it's like a blue kind of sparkle. Just a wee change. And I decided to get it on two rather than one. So, oh, I'm feeling amazing. Love my nails. I um, went to pre-mark as well. I'll show you in a second what I got. So I'm just chilling. And Paul is watching the game at his dad's for a bit. Because James is there. And then he's going to come home. We're going to have Chinese and stuff. But, yeah. Good day so far. I need to edit that clean with me vlog either today or tomorrow because I wanted to go up through the week. So I might do it tonight. I'll see. Paul is now home. Hello. He is watching football. I am editing a clean with me that I've already edited, but it just refused to save. So I got the joys of getting to redo all the voiceover all over again because I had to speed up the whole video. So it's faster. Anyway, how cute are my nails? I know I showed them already, but they're just so nice. So... What did you do today, Paul? We took James to Samantha's auntie's and then went to mum and dad's with him. He's staying over there tonight. Mm -hmm. I watched football with my dad. And then came and home. This and nephew are there, Patrick and Sophie. Yeah, Patrick and Sophie are there, staying over as well. And then and Paul came home. James is so cute in his wee vampire outfit. Yeah, we filmed him a little bit earlier, so you've seen that. But he's really, really cute in it. He looks so cute. But the funny thing is, if you take the cape off, he looks like... Your dad said a... Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? A person in the ring? A ringmaster. A ringmaster. At the circus. Mm -hmm, at the circus. I thought he looked like somebody who collects tickets at the cinema. <laughs> and you thought it said what? Uh, a snooker player. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a multifaceted costume. Yeah. We're currently waiting on Chinese. I phoned it about half an hour ago at this point. Yeah, and we have cocktails. And we have cocktails getting delivered. From the Strawberry daiquiris for me. What did you get? Passion fruit daiquiris. Did you get two of passion fruit? Yeah, really good. Smart, because Paul keeps getting like different ones to try. <gasps> it just refused to save the video. Ah! Right, I'm going to go. Hello, so it is quarter to nine. I've had a bath. I'm really tired, and I'm going to go to bed by half nine. But in the next kind of 45 minutes ignore my five head my fringe is back because I was in my bath um I'm gonna tidy this and clear out my pajama drawer so I'll show you when I'm done hopefully it'll be within kind of 30 minutes I'm gonna get it done and then go to bed afternoon it is Sunday um I didn't finish the room last night so I'll show you what I got done Paul did some this morning I think so Paul is just installing a ring doorbell at the front door um he's been to Crown Drive this morning because last night I did clear out a bit and got rid of a couple of bags of stuff, so he went and got rid of that. I'm running a bath, and James will probably be home soon, but I'll show you once I've had my bath and stuff what I've done with the beauty room and what still needs to be done. Okay, so it's half past four. Me and Paul are going to do like a platter for dinner tonight, so lots of different things from the oven, but I am making my potatoes that I make, my heavy potatoes just now. Um, I need to put them on first because they take the longest out of everything, so... They're on just now. While well, I'm waiting on them to be, I'm gonna do the dishes. Hello, so it is 25 past five. I just got to Tesco. Plan was not to go to Tesco at all tonight, but I've just realized that I don't actually have much of the stuff in the freezer for James left. I have some carrot and I've got his porridge and his courgette's running low and he's got like no broccoli left. So I've decided I'm gonna come out and get that and make it tonight because I don't really want to make it over the next few nights when he's sleeping and that's one of the kind the time I'm gonna have when he's sleeping is because Paul will be because Paul's night shift so I'm gonna go and get that stuff just now and then I'm also when I'm gonna go home I'm gonna explain a bit about prices and how this saves us money basically and how it's actually a lot cheaper sometimes to make your own baby food really it is so as much as Ella's kitchen and stuff I get I buy I use sometimes it is cheaper if you can to make your own so i'll explain a bit about that as well but i'm gonna get i think i'm gonna get broccoli 
I'm going to get some more courgette because he really likes the broccoli and courgette mixed. And I'm going to get peas. That's the plan. Okay, so this is what I was talking about price-wise. So for 96 pence, I got this whole pot of broccoli that is bigger than my hand. Okay? And that will make about 10 portions for James. <clears throat> when you look at pouches being 45 pence each, you're looking at 450, you're saving yourself like three pounds there at least. Just so you're aware, guys. So here's a more accurate representation of how much is actually in that. Two big florets, like two big bunches, and for only 96 pence, I will be able to make like 10 portions of James's food. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So the 98 pence, two florets of broccoli, made seven of like the big one pound kind of like 20 pouches from Ella's Kitchen and also a little kind of tub here and then one pound at the what the bag of peas was 150 I used about two thirds of it made 14 portions a piece so for two pounds I made all this baby food that's what I'm talking about if you have time and you have and you're able to make your own because it can save you a ton of money now when I say that I use Girls' kitchen pouches, Tesco pouches. I have in a like in a cupboard. I have a lot of them, and I will use them from time to time. I'll use them when people have dreams. I use them when we are out and about sometimes. But I'm trying overall two thirds of the time. James has what I have made him. So just so you're aware, it definitely can be cheaper. You can think, oh, it's just as cheap to buy the little pouches. It can be at times. It's not when you're talking about kind of bulk making things. So I've made him eight portions of broccoli and 14 portions of peas for two pounds. You can't argue with that. Morning, it's half past ten. My head is crazy. Anyway, um, I am in the process of making a few things right now. So I am making Paul's kind of dinners for the next couple of days. So pasta with marinara sauce, chilli flakes and I'm putting chicken in it. And I'm making James's porridge. These are two little tubs that I had made and had in the freezer last night. I just put them in the fridge so that they would be defrosted this morning. And they're good to go. So I'm just going to warm this up a little bit. And add his prunes. And just kind of got dishes and stuff to do. Did some dishes. And then I need to go out and get a couple of things today. Paul will watch James. And then when I get back, Paul will go back to bed for a few hours. Because he is night shift tonight, tomorrow night and Wednesday night. So that's our plans. Okay, so I've also put in this chicken. This is from a bag in Iceland and it's already cooked and diced. Keep it in the freezer, so I've just defrosted it and then put it in the pasta. And this is Paul's pastas for work. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday. James did not sleep really good at all last night. He kinda, he went to bed at half seven as usual, but then he woke up at half eight, had more bottle. Woke up at 11, wanted his dummy, woke up at 1 and had a bottle, woke up at 4 and had a bottle, woke up at half 6 and had a bottle. And then Paul kind of took him from half 6 till half 8 when he got in to try and let me get some sleep. Because at that point I think I had 3 hours, so I think I've had 4 and a half hours sleep. I'm tired. But he had a bit of a cold, he's been kind of like snuffly. So I put on that kind of snuffle rub that I got from Boots for Babies and he seems a bit better today. And then I've also put on the diffuser in our room because our room was warm last night and that probably wouldn't have helped anything so I've put that on um, to try and help the humidifier actually it's not a diffuser it's a humidifier um, so I've put that on so that'll be on throughout the day to kind of get some more moisture in the room because obviously right now with heating and stuff it's drying the room so Paul is up I'm making lunch I'm having a pizza the Gino de Campo one usual and our clean with me video just went live well my clean with me video I did it but Please go watch if you haven't already. Um, I'm really interested. I want to do those kind of more often. Like a once a month clean with me with the kitchen and stuff. Um, and the rest of the house. Maybe not even as much as once a month. But like once a month maybe a different part of the house. And then kind of go around. And like reorganising and stuff as well. I want to do in the kitchen and I'll film that. But I've shoved clothes on. As I said, Paul's up. I'm going to have pizza. And then he'll probably go back to bed. And I'll be on James Street. Good morning. I did not vlog at all yesterday. James had a couple of rough nights, but last night was a lot better and slept half seven, but then got up at half eight for some more bottle, up at ten for a bit of a bottle, up at one for a proper bottle, but then he slept till seven. 
and that's been like the best he's been since Paul's been night shift but Paul's finished night shift plan for today is sorry fix my glasses um plan for today is I am going to get my hair done needs done my roots need fixed all the bleaching needs done and the pink needs topped up so I'm gonna go and get my hair done and then Paul's gonna have James and then I need to get everything ready for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to work for the day so I won't vlog tomorrow when I'm at work but I'll probably vlog in the morning a little bit and then in the evening when I get home and then that'll be the end of this week Paul will probably vlog a bit today I'll try and vlog when I'm getting my hair done and stuff as well I'm gonna be there for ages so my appointment's at two o'clock I will probably be there until like six or half six because it needs to get bleached and the bleach is on for a while and then it needs to get brought through to my roots and then the toner needs to go on and all that so it just takes a long time so I'm gonna take snacks so yeah that's the plan nothing really else this weekend nothing got planned this weekend actually I don't think but yeah we're getting there so, oh, I'm tired, but I'm not actually too bad. Um, me and James went into the beauty room and played on the bed in there for a while, which is still a mess. I know I said I would show you it once I've cleaned it. I haven't fully finished it yet, that's why. So I might try and do that today as well. Um, because I'll be getting ready in there in the morning. I'll just feel better if it's all clean. So I'm going to do that. Yeah. Exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to going to work tomorrow. Looking forward to just getting out of the house and doing something a bit different because with everything going on right now, we're not really leaving very often. So it'll be nice to go out and it'll be nice to be at work and stuff and see all my work friends. And I'm really lucky. I love who I work with um, and I love my work. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But my lips are all dry. I didn't put on my lip sleep mask last night, so that's probably why. Oh uh, yeah. So I will catch up later on. <laughs> So my head is done. Hi everyone. I'm back after my night shifts. It was a long week. It was only three days right enough. Um, <clears throat> Samantha's away to get her hair done. So me and James are here. Apologies about his face. He's just had his carrots, as you can see by the orange around his mouth. Say hello. He's looking very serious. So we're just going to chill for a bit and then we'll go and see my mum and dad. Patrick and Sophie. Usual Thursday club, isn't it, James? He's not long woke up after his nap. Got his lunch, so we're just chilling and then we'll get him changed, won't we? Cleaned up and then we'll head. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, gonna go and show catch up later on. It's me and James tomorrow. Samantha is at work for a keeping in touch day, so it'll be fun and games from James and I tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> See you later. Bye. I went for purple for a change. Now, I have the pink toners, and I showed you that before that I'd bought those to do myself. Good thing is, purple and pink, um, like, work together. So when this rinses out, I'll just put the pink over the top. Today is, which I completely forgot, remember, remember, the 5th of November. So... Tons of fireworks going off around us just now. Um, I know my aunt had to take like time off work because her dog reacted really badly to them. So, yeah. I've had my pamper day. I've had my hair done. Got my nails done the other day. I'm ready for my one day back at work. <laughs> I just want to feel good going back. Like, I'm just... It's one of those things, isn't it? Like, I've been off for... At this point, I haven't been in actual school since... March because lockdown happened so the middle of March is the last time I was in the building and it's November so that was like seven months ago almost eight months ago and not really seen many people either I've seen my department but I haven't seen like other people that I work with so we'll see what happens um look forward to it it's also good just to like get back into it a little bit and I'm going to do a few of these keeping in touch days and then I'll be back in February the vlogs will still happen though because I'm just not going to include work. So, 
Yeah. Oh, a couple of things. I got a couple of things from Boots. Let me just grab them. That's not even it. Um, this was, if you spent over £20 on makeup, you got this. This includes a soap and glory bath bomb, a sleek lip gloss, which I won't use, an Essie nail polish, which I might use, a liquid lipstick by Revlon, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, some sample sashes, a Rimmel primer and that. And because, it was because I got, I'm just trying to get it out of my bag. Here we go. Here we go. I got a MAC eyeshadow that I've been wanting for a while, to be fair. So I got this mascara, that's the already had. I got this mascara, which is the new mascara by L'Oreal. It's called Air Volume Mega Mascara. And then I got Cork eyeshadow, which I've been wanting for quite a while. No, it's Omega. It's Omega, what am I talking about? I got Omega, which I've been wanting for quite a while. It's just a nice kind of crease shade, and it's nice when I can use like my little palettes or my singles if I have a colour like that that I can just throw in the crease. So, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, I'm going to have dinner. Paul's away to his mum's, but because I got home late, I decided to come here and I need to get ready and stuff, like decide what I'm wearing tomorrow and stuff. So, I am doing that tonight and get all my stuff ready and out of our room so that in the morning when I get up, I don't wake up James. But that's the plan. Okay, bye. Okay, so my lush order just got delivered. Um, I'm just going to put it away quickly and I'll show you what I got. But one thing to remember about Lush, if you're ever buying from them and you buy online, they're little kind of like packing, like these little like packing peanuts. They are water soluble. So I literally just grab them and throw them in the sink. Two seconds. So literally all you do is put water on them and you'll see they're starting to like dissolve. So see if I put that one under. It starts to dissolve. Now, they do not smell amazing when they're dissolving, but it's better than just throwing them out and then I'm gonna put my bath bombs away. So, this was in the house when we got it, this kind of like glass dish. And this is what I use to keep my bath bombs in. So I got that one. It looks like a little like Christmas present. Two of these kind of like sparkly robot guys. Another like Christmas puddingy one. That's my other sparkly robot guy. The peachy one. I got quite a few because this is my last order until I think probably after Christmas because I'm gonna try and not buy them. Because they are expensive for what they are. They literally just go in your bath and dissolve. Um, Twilight, I know that one's called Twilight. A couple of my favourite Avo bath ones. They're really good for like a daytime bath because they're like citrusy. Oh, they're amazing. They smell so lemony. Um, just trying to find them all in here. This little kind of like moon one. Another Twilight. I tend to buy the ones that are like three ninety five, four ninety five. That's intergalactic. I don't like buying the ones that are five ninety five because I just feel like that it just adds up really quickly. And that's a star one. So that's what I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like eleven. So plenty, actually twelve, because I got another one, that little moon one. But yeah, so that's how I store them. And then it makes our bathroom smell like lush, which Paul doesn't always appreciate, but it's nice. So I'm just gonna dissolve all these and run a bath. Don't be alarmed when it looks like this and it's like foamy and sticky and yucky. It just takes, this is them kind of like breaking down. And then I just make sure I kind of go around the sink and get rid of like any residue and stuff like that. And I'll grab the kind of brush over there in a second and do that as well. But it's just better than ones that you have to chuck out. Well, I also got that little one there. So that's my bath bombs full. I'm gonna move them around a bit so they're sitting on it better, but. All the peanuts are almost away. Good morning, everyone. It's 11 o'clock. Me and James are in the house today. Samantha is at a keep in touch day at work. So that's just me and James. I slept from 8 till 1, then till 6. And then he was back in his bed till quarter to 10 this morning. So we've been up. 
had breakfast, had his bottle, then I just going to play and then hopefully go for a wee nap. What do you think? Eh? Mm, I don't think he'll go for a nap. <laughs> What do you think? Kaboo! Hello everybody! Say hi yeah. So, it's quarter past four. I haven't vlogged much today. James hasn't been awake much today. He was up for an hour, got his breakfast and that, and then was back sleeping at half twelve. And then my dad came over to see him because he's off work today. And then he went back to sleep, and then we went out in the car, had to go collect something from my sister-in-law. And then we're back home, and Samantha will be in shortly. So I think it's been a successful day. First day with him for the whole, whole day. What do you think, James? Hmm? What do you think? Aye. Uh, <laughs> He's getting hungry now, so I'm gonna go and so check in later. Hi. Hi everyone, it is ten past seven. You looking at Mama because she's talking? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so I was at work today, it was really good. It was good catching up with people. COVID safety. Obviously I had my mask on the entire time. And it was good just getting out of the house. Mm. I'm tired. Paul's tired as well because how was your day? It was good though. It's good though. James has got a cough. He's not got COVID. Mm. He's fine. <laughs> James slept till quarter to ten, which was really good. He gets me up between seven and half seven quite regularly. Right. And yeah. he slept quarter to ten and then he napped a bit. And, and then your dad came over, didn't he? Yeah, granddad. Came over. <laughs> To see you for a bit, and then he went back for another nap after his lunch, and then we went out and then napped again. So, overall, it was good. So, we've had dinner, we're just relaxing. Um, James will be going back soon. You will, wouldn't you? James had his prince. What happened two seconds ago, Paul? James just spewed on me <laughs> all over my shorts. Didn't you? James is tired. Say hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Kiki boos. Kiki boos. This is James standing on the floor. He can't do it yet. Paul's helping him. So, we're going to end the vlog here because it is time for James very soon to get a bath. <laughs> Let me try it now. So, it's time soon. <laughs> For oh my chin, that's ridiculous. Anyway, time for James to get a bath, us to get him ready. Bottle. Bed time for James. Bottle for kisses. James. And then just relaxing. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching this week, guys. Next Thank week you. we're gonna go swimming. We'll try and video that, but I'm not 100 percent sure we'll be able to. Um, and some other things. So thanks so much for keep watching. For watching, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Really helps us. <laughs> Make sure you follow our Instagrams that I have linked right now over Paul's face a second ago and then now on the left-hand side of the screen. <laughs> and, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Say bye-bye. Where's Say the screen? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, do you see Mickey Mouse? He's too concerned with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>